Mercedes, you look divine as always. Are you off to pray? Oh, hello, Sylvain. I was just on my way to pray. How did you guess? Well, because I've been watching your lovely... Oh, I get it. You're the type who's always looking at girls, aren't you? I won't lie. I do enjoy beholding women. But I don't mean it like that with you. I know I sound like a dope. I just... I think you're special. Oh, really? You think I'm so clumsy that I need someone to watch over me. Is that why you can't take your eyes off me? You're beautiful, and I mean that. You're... How can I put it without sounding even worse? Okay, here goes. I want to get to know you better. As friends, I mean. I don't know where to begin. Well, what's something you like? I like to pray. I've been praying regularly since I was a child. You grew up in the Empire, didn't you? That's right. I was raised in House Bartels. Bartels? I thought you were born to House Martreats. It's a complicated story. I'm not sure that it's a very interesting one, but I'm happy to share it with you. I don't mean to be nosy, if it's too personal. Oh no, I don't mind. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. House Martreats fell shortly before I was born. Oh. My father passed away while my mother was still pregnant with me, so she had nowhere to go. After I was born, my mother ended up marrying the head of House Bartels. Shortly after, my mother bore a true Bartels child who bore a crest. She and I were treated as though we were no longer useful to the family after that. You think the Bartels were just using her to secure a crest? They must have been. My mother and I were removed from the family and forced to flee to a church in the kingdom. I abandoned the Bartels name and took up our old family name again. So you grew up in a church? Okay, it makes more sense now why you're praying all the time. Yes, I- oh, praying! I forgot that I was on my way to pray. Right, and I interrupted you. Well, see you around, Mercedes. Yes, see you! House Bartels wanted a crest, and ruined other people's lives to get one. These idiots are all the same. Mercedes, I swear, the whole cathedral glows with heavenly light when you're around. Hello, Sylvain. What a treat to see you here. I thought you preferred places with more ladies around. I'm here because you're here. And I don't care about other girls. Oh, come now. I'm sure you use that line all the time. Actually, I've only said it to girls who thought I was lying about being faith. You know what? There's no reason to get into all that. The truth is, I would really like to spend some time with you. What do you say to that? Well, if you were really interested in me, I would want you to get to know me better. I agree. I've been such an idiot in the past, always angling for the seduction. I've forgotten how to just talk to someone. You act like you're full of regret, but I know you don't really mean it. Still, I'm glad to hear you say that at least. I told you such a boring story the last time we spoke. I was worried you might think I was a dull person. Dull? No. I was worried that I'd made you remember unhappy times. It's horrible what you had to go through. It's not like anyone chooses to be born with a crest. Right. We can't choose our bloodline. You've got a crest too, haven't you, Sylvain? What has your experience been like? Are you asking how being born with a crest affected me? It's not a very happy story. Please don't feel the need to hold back on my account. I'm here if you need someone to share in your pain. Would you want to know more about me, even if I didn't have a crest, or come from a noble family? This has nothing to do with your crest or family. I'm just asking as your friend. How should I put this? When I look at you, I don't see a crest. I want to see the real you. You... you do? Here's the short version. I hate crests. Even though having one is supposed to be such a great blessing, mine has ruined everything. Miklon was heir to our house. Then I was born, and I became the heir because I had a crest. 
That made my older brother jealous enough to want to kill me. And every woman in Fothen wants to have my little crest baby, so they can join the nobility. Yeah, there you go. That's what it's like to have a crest. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to dredge up such awful things. No, I... I should keep my temper better. I don't want you to see me act that way. Don't say that. I'm glad we were able to talk. I feel like I'm finally seeing the real you. Oh, Sylvain, will you save me from the curse of having a crest? Of course. I think I love you. And I mean that with all my heart. I love you, Mercedes. Let's get married and have crest babies. Sure, sure. Mercedes, you're looking divine as always. Good evening, Sylvain. Thank you for coming out to see me. Just the two of us meeting at this time of night? You move quicker than I thought. Hmm? I don't know what speed has to do with it, but there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Ah, okay. I probably should have figured that out. I can be so forgetful at times. I neglected to mention this the other day. I meant to say that I know you've been through a lot in this life. Huh? Me? Your parents have placed a great deal of pressure on you as their heir. And it's all because you were born with a crest. You've had to put up with such lofty expectations. All of the kingdom's noble houses expect a lot from their heirs. I'm no different from any other noble guy or gal. We've all got responsibilities. But didn't you mention that your brother envied you enough to wish you dead? I'm sure that wasn't easy. Thinking about it, life was probably a lot harder for my brother than it ever has been for me. Didn't you also mention that women were only interested in having your, as you say, crest baby? I'm not very interested in the particulars, but I get the feeling that you don't care very much for these women who throw themselves at you. Um, I'd appreciate it if maybe you kept that observation between the two of us. Your secret's safe with me. I understand the pain you've had to carry. I know you've got your share of bad memories too, but... That's why you feel comfortable letting your guard down around me. Come now. That's enough with the sad smile. Mercedes. Was my sad smile really that bad? Did it ruin my dashing good looks? Not at all. You actually look more handsome to me with honesty on your face. <laughs> Aw, here come the waterworks. Don't be ashamed of crying. I'm here to protect you. Will you protect me in return? I will. I promise. You know, Mercedes, you really are a special lady.